Five tips that have improved my sleep, which basically cured my bipolar. Number one, very easy. Set the temperature of your room to 18 degrees. And if you can, uh, have a bath or a shower, hot shower, uh, before you go to bed. That has helped tremendously. It just puts your core temperature down. And because your ambient temperature is separate, it's really good. Tip number two, this doesn't apply to everyone, but if you are a couple, uh, think about the idea of sleeping separately. Like, not always, obviously, but if you can, uh, sometimes, you know, just don't feel bad if you have to walk out because it's too hot and cuddle and snuggle first, but then when it's bedtime, you can go set your separate ways. And for me, we have a separate guest bed, so um, I've been able to go to the guest bed whenever I get too hot or too bothered or just can't, you know, think too much just physically changing my location to a different bed location has helped me fall asleep quicker number three i actually put harry potter on and i put an hour and a half timer on the audible and just let it play and sometimes i just just a random episode random chapter and try to just figure out where i am and it's awesome it's absolutely awesome i actually used to have a thing where i would set automation up on my phone where if i tag the nfc tag it'll put a random chapter on and that was just really fun. And it just makes your brain stop thinking. And something about closing your eyes and listening to an audio but that you already know um, and just picturing those imageries to really help you fall into sleep and go to dreamland, essentially. Tip number four. This is if I really struggle to fall asleep. And um, this, includes, this works in conjunction with everything I said before. Uh, but essentially, I meditate for in my head an hour what that means is i've either meditated for an hour and i've just counted one to ten counting my breaths one two three and repeat once i go back to ten um and i just keep meditating and i either get a really good meditating session or i fe- i fell asleep which in my books is just a win-win so that really helped as well tip number five this is a bit controversial um i don't think this helps everyone but uh me this is if i'm really desperate i go watch i go to youtube and on my phone and i watch cooking videos and uh, this is like an or some anime videos some like history law uh, you know it could be games of thrones history law or you know i think i was recently watching hunter x hunter law anything law based which is quite dense information but it's still interesting to me um, and I just watch it in the background. And um, I notice that if I start looking into entrepreneurship stuff, I stay awake all the time. And the flight of ideas goes crazy. However, when it comes to a world that I just don't know, uh, and I can never like touch and just want to learn more about it and absorb it, um, I've learned that I fall asleep quicker and I get to get some metadata about some curious hidden fantasy world. This one, that one's a bit controversial because most sleep advice people tell you not to watch your devices before bed. Um, for me, I found that distracting my head to get avoid the flight of ideas um, has helped me. And if I want to absorb myself into a material and the material can't be applicable to my work, or, you know, it can't be software, it can't be how to get better at YouTube videos or whatever, um, it has to be like a fantasy base and fiction base and that's helped me a lot.